Uh, a, yes, a spectacular light show. I took some lightning over the San Gabriel Mountains a few months ago. I thought mm -hmm. I did pretty well. I, you know, slowed it down. You could see it, all the jagged very bolts. Very cool. You're very oh, proud of it, I can tell. I was, yes, <laughs> it's, on my, it's on my social media. So if very anyone nice. wants to check out my amateur skills, but nothing like that, Paul. You know, Nothing light, like lightning is yeah. lightning is so powerful, yeah. but so beautiful at the same time. I know. And uh, One World Trade, tallest building in that area, it's got that lightning yeah. rod sticking yeah. out and the communications. So that was pretty. That was pretty spectacular. Fifty-seven. I have to go check out Jasmine's social media page. <laughs> Fifty-seven degrees in Ontario. You're going to be the cloudiest spot today, and the wind is picking up. It's 13 miles per hour. You'll likely see some gusts to 30 or 40 miles per hour this evening. When all of this settles down and the cold air moves in, it's going to be cold enough for frost tonight. In our Inland Empire, Rancho Cucamonga, Riverside, south to Lake Elsinore, east to Hemet, temperatures dropping to about 35 degrees. Now we transition from that to 80s this weekend. So if you like winter, okay, today. If you like spring, next couple days. If you like summer, just wait till the weekend. We've got three different seasons coming up over the next seven days. Still some showers in the Inland Empire with that moisture banking in from southwest to northeast. It just goes up in elevation a bit. You've got some rain and snow showers there. Otherwise, we are beginning to dry out. And really, drying out should now become a theme. It's the first Monday of April, where for the entire month, we average about two-thirds of an inch of rainfall. That's not much. May, it's about half of that. June, it's about one-third of that, one-tenth of one inch of rainfall. This is now officially our dry season, at least historically. We'll see if it plays out. We have a wind advisory in effect for L.A. and Orange County and Ventura County, 30, 40 mile per hour gusts. They could get up to 60 miles per hour or stronger in our inland deserts, including the Antelope Valley. Lancaster 50, 60, 70 mile per hour wind gust this evening as this front moves through. The storm itself is to our east, so it's going inside of us, not outside over the ocean. So it's not tapping into anything tropical. So a few showers in the mountains and that's it. And then there's nothing coming after that. We just get partly to mostly sunny skies for the next several days. We're rolling all the way now through Friday and Saturday. There'll be a storm that hits uh, Northern California with some lighter rain showers, but since it's not making it here, what it will do, it's gonna help draw up some warmer air. So that's part of the reason why we're gonna get so warm by the end of this week and into next weekend. So a 20 degree swing, today 62, Sunday 82. And for our valleys, 59 this afternoon, 77 by Thursday, and Easter Sunday, a high all the way up to 84. That's your forecast. KCAL 9 is now KCAL News. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.